Capitol Hill, a member of that committee and an outspoken critic, Democratic Congressman Adam Schiff. Welcome, sir. Thank you. Um, the chairman of this Benghazi committee, Trey Gowdy, says um, this will be the final time that Hillary Clinton answers questions about what happened in Benghazi. Do you buy that? Well, I certainly hope so. Uh, after these uh, seven other investigations, after her multiple, <clears throat> multiple appearances before Congress, I'm not sure how much there is left to be productively said. Uh, I, I do think that we will see as a result of Representative McCarthy and Representative Hanna's comments uh, an effort, at least by the GOP today, to go through the motions of uh, a focus on Benghazi. But the focus of this committee all along has been really only on one person, and that is Secretary Clinton. Uh, they have canceled all the other hearings this year, apart from one we had in January. Uh, they canceled on the defense secretary, on the director of the CIA, on the head of the Joint Chiefs. This is the only one they wanted, and we have no idea where we're going after this. So it's pretty hard to escape the conclusion that today is what this has all been about. I with Sean Smith's mother yesterday. It was a very emotional interview. She says that she needs so many more questions answered. So there are questions to be answered today, right, even in your mind? Well, look, I, you know, I, I have great compassion for the, the parents and the husbands and wives, uh, or, or the, the wives, rather, uh, the siblings of, of those that were lost. They're going through a terrible trauma still. Uh, but in terms of the questions that remain to be answered, uh, frankly, after 17 months and four and a half million dollars, we have found no new information that contradicts any of the core conclusions of the seven or eight other investigations. Uh, so there just uh, isn't that much there to be found. You can always, uh, you know, find things in the interstices uh, of the matter uh, that will shed some new light, uh, but nothing that alters our understanding of what took place. And I, and I feel terrible, frankly, uh, that these families were misled at the beginning of this investigation when the majority promised a nonpartisan investigation uh, that would be centered on the facts, and instead what we've really had is a highly politicized investigation to go after the likely Democratic nominee for president. I, I heard what you just said, but um, your fellow committee members say there will be new information coming out in this hearing. Um, do you have any clue as to what that might be? Uh, well, no, and, and this is, I think, a very interesting fact. You know, as a former uh, prosecutor, uh, you always have to be suspicious when somebody attributes the benchmarks of successful investigation by how many people they've interviewed and how many documents they've gathered rather than what those witnesses or documents say. Uh, they haven't been able to point to anything that is really new. Uh, there may be some emails that we haven't had before, but the fact is when we've looked at those new emails, uh, they're no different in kind or character than the emails we already had. Uh, they will do their very best, I think, to make it seem new, uh, to put a new dress on an, an old figure uh, in terms of this, this investigation. But, uh, but the, the fact of the matter uh, is, uh, that the, the body of this investigation has been the same all along, uh, and we haven't discovered anything new really for all of the time and expense and effort that this committee has undertaken. All right, Congressman Adam Schiff, thank you so much for joining me on the right hand side.